here in Matawan Creek. This is the site of the 1916 shark attacks here in Matawan. It's really tough to get down to this spot from the land, so I thought this was a much better way to get in here and see the creek and really get a sense of the incredible drama that played out that day. Lester Stillwell, 11 years old, he was swimming in the creek with his friends when he was mauled by the shark. Stanley Fisher was among the many Matawan residents who came down here looking for the body and then he was, as he was pulling Stanley to the surface, was also mauled and killed. And this is the creek, this is where it happened. That's a big, ugly red jellyfish coming right at me. So, probably don't have to worry too much about sharks here right now, but I wouldn't want to fall in the water with that bad boy floating by. You can see some of these old rotting pilings from uh, some of the docks and the piers that used to be here. One of which Lester was swimming off of that day. Just tons of wildlife out here. Red-winged blackbird just flew over me. I've seen green herons, egrets, great blue herons. Saw a bald eagle here recently, juvenile bald eagle, and I just saw an osprey flying over with a fish in its talons. And in the distance behind me, you can see, of course, the Garden State Parkway. Both the tide and the wind are pushing me out now. I'm not even paddling and we are really moving. You see that beige building there? You can see uh, that's one of the only things on the shoreline that's visible still from that day. You can see that, that building in some of the old photographs of people searching the creek for Lester's body. There's a lot of debris under the water, a lot of wood and old pilings. I'm worried about my fin hitting one of these things. See those old pilings under there? I'm worried about my fin hitting one of those and going, stopping short and going right into the water with my iPhone. That's it, Matawan shark attack sites 100 years later. Definitely worth a paddle, worth the mosquito bites.